Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, we're going to answer some word problems that involve rational functions. Okay, let's start. Okay, so this is our first word problem, a garden plot. So may mga guide questions tayo dito, kaya madali lang sagutan ang problem na ito. Okay, so the problem goes like this. Vincent is a farmer. Okay, he loves to plant vegetables. He found that the area of his rectangular garden is 200 square meters. Okay, now, sabi dito, we let X represent the width of his garden in meters. Okay, now, we're going to express the length of the garden, L. So, yung L, ito yung length, as a function of width, X. Okay? So, madali lang ito. Pero yun nga, meron tayong guide questions. So, sagutan natin to. Okay, the first question is, um, what is the formula in finding the area of a rectangle? So, let me write here, um, the area, yeah, the area of a rectangle, can you recall? Okay, this one is equal to what? Area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. Yeah? So, let me write. Length okay, times width. Nakita nyo, in words ko muna sinulat. Tamaya, dun sa letter B na guide question natin, dun natin papalitan ng mga letters. Okay? Nung mga variables na inassign dito sa problem na ito. So now, using guide question B, we're going to replace this formula using variables. Okay? So, anong variables ang gagamitin natin? Sabi dito, we use A for the area, yeah? And then X for the width, and then L for the length, capital L. So, using these variables, okay, yung A, X, and L, okay? Etong formula natin sa guide question A, becomes like this, okay? A equals, what is the length? L, okay? Times, what is the width? X, okay? So, you write X here, okay? So, one advice here, okay? Do not use X as a multiplication sign, okay? Kasi may X na dito eh. Sabi dito, ang X yun yung width, so, malilito kayo kapag ginamit nyo pang multiplication sign yung x. Okay? Okay lang kung dot. Kunyari, ganito. Kita nyo itong L, LX dito. Okay? Pwede yung, yan, L times x. Or simply magkatabi lang na LX. Alright? Now, using this formula in letter B, we may express the length of the garden L as a function of x. Okay? Paano yon? So, ganito lang yon. Okay? Diba? Our formula is A equals L times X. Right? Okay. We find L. How? We divide both sides by X. So, pwede nyo yung gawin yan. Divide both sides by X. Okay? So, ano makikita nyo? Magka-cancel yung X na to. Ayan. Matitira na lang L. So, this one is equal to um, A over X. Yeah? Okay. Do not forget, given ang A. Ano ba yung A? Area of the rectangle. If you go back to our problem here, kay nasan dyan yung A? Eto. 200. Yeah? The area of Vincent's rectangular garden is 200 square meters. Okay? So that's the value of A here. So you may want to replace A by 200. So magiging ganito. Okay, so yung A mo, 200, and then over X, this is going to be L. Okay, so we write here, L of X is equal to 200 divided by X. So that is the length in terms of X. Kung gusto nyo kompleto, you may want to write here where X is greater than 0. Okay? So, ibig sabihin yan, yung width ninyo cannot be zero, yeah? And it should be positive. Okay? Walang negative na width. 
Okay? Now we move on to our second problem, the triangular kite. So there is a triangular kite. And the area of the kite is 320 square centimeters, okay? And then may mga variable na gagamitin. Yung x daw, okay, this represents the height of the kite, okay, in centimeters. Now, we're going to express the base B, okay, as a function of height x. All you have to do is to recall the area of a triangle. Okay, sige, recall natin. Um, area of any triangle, yeah, it is given by what? Um, base times height, okay, divided by 2. Yeah? Okay. So, after writing the formula, we substitute, Okay. Sige, yung area of a triangle, huwag na natin gawing A. Gawin na natin siya agad 320. Kasi it's given, okay? So you have 320, that's for the area. So substitute tayo, okay? And then what is the base? Sabi dito, ang base ay capital letter B. So we write B, okay? Times, okay? We use a dot, okay? Instead of X, Sign for multiplication kasi nga meron na tayong x dito. Okay? So, b for the base, tapos times, what is the height? x. So, we write x here. Okay? Divided by 2. Alright? Okay. We're looking for um, a function b in terms of x. Okay? So, we solve for b here. Okay? First, you multiply both sides by 2. Okay? Both sides of the equation. So, what are you going to have? Sige nga, gawin natin. Ito, multiply ko by 2. Okay? Ito rin, multiply ko by um, 2. Okay? So, mangyayari, we're going to have 640. Okay? Equals. Dito naman, magka-cancel yung 2 dito. Magiging B. Okay, and then finally, to get a B, you divide both sides by X. Yeah? So, magka-cancel na yung mga X dito. Okay? So, you will get B, okay, as a function of X. Okay? Ibig sabihin, yung makikita mong function, puro X. Okay? So, that is equal to 640 divided by X. This is the answer. Okay? Kung gusto nyong kompleto, you may want to write um, x should be greater than 0. Again, hindi pwedeng kasama ang 0. Hindi pwedeng greater than or equal to 0. Bawal ang 0 because una, denominator yung x dito. Okay? Kapag pinag-0 mo yan, magiging undefined. Okay? Bawal din mag-negative si x. Kasi wala namang negative values for the height. Okay? Walang negative na measurement. Alright? Okay. Okay, so this is our last problem. The growing bacteria. Okay? So the amount of bacteria is represented by this function. Okay? Where T is from 0 to 15. Okay? Now, we're asked, how many bacteria will there be after 10 hours? So, madali lang ito because all we have to do is to substitute. We substitute T equals 10, like this. So, B of 10. Yeah? Ito yung magbibigay kung ilang bacteria meron after 10 hours. So, we do that. So, we have 100 times 10, okay, divided by 10 plus 2. Yeah? And then we simplify. Okay? So, 100 times 10, it becomes 1,000 divided by 12 because it's 10 plus 2. And then we simplify further. Okay? So, I think we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 4. Okay? What is 12 divided by 4? So, 4, 8, 12. So, you have 3. 
Okay? Ang 1,000, kapag dinivide natin yan by 4, we are going to have 250. Pwede nyo rin isulat yan as a mixed number. Okay? Mixed fraction. So, you do like 250 divided by 3. Okay? So, you will get, um, this is 8. Okay? 83 and 1 third. Okay? You may want to do that. Okay? Pwede rin, gusto nyo, in terms of decimals. Okay? You are going to have 83.3 bar. Repeating. 83.33333 and so on. You may want to write your answer in one complete sentence. Okay? Like this. So, that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Alright? See you on my next video.